welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 brutal deaths in British soaps. Holy, holy, we got that. We got before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the most over-the-top and shocking demises from UK soap operas that left a massive impression on fans. Which soap character's death affected you the most? Let us know below. Number 20. Steve Owen, EastEnders in March 2002, we saw the culmination of a four-year rivalry between Steve Owen and resident troublemaker Phil Mitchell in EastEnders. With Owen looking to dip out of the square and head to the States, he took Mitchell's child, Louise, with him. Well, Phil wasn't having that, and a car chase ensued. Then, Steve does something you really shouldn't do, use his mobile phone. As a result, he crashed into a parked motorbike, setting it aflame. <laughs> Unable to get out, Steve helped Phil take the kid out. After making sure she's safe, Phil goes back to the car to help Steve. Only it explodes, flipping the vehicle dramatically. <laughs> Number 19. Barry Evans, EastEnders even all these years later, we still remember this iconic passing well from 2004. Janine Butcher had a plan. With Barry Evans being told by the doctors that he's terminal, she married him, all to get her grubby mitts on his cash. Only turns out it was a mistake. Barry was going to be fine. Well, Janine was not too happy to hear this news. No! Ain't you listening to me? I have never loved you! While walking in the Scottish moors, she snaps, telling him everything and breaking his heart. Then, Janine shoves Evans, who falls and rolls down the hill. He's only stopped by clattering into a rock, hitting his head. Janine got down there fast, only to sit and watch her husband expire. Memories are better. Number 18. Bradley Branning, EastEnders to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the London-based soap in 2010, EastEnders put on a live broadcast episode, and it was definitely memorable. He still did what he did to her, and your DNA is still on his body. With everyone trying to figure out who offed Archie Mitchell, the police believed Bradley Branning was behind it, and attempted to arrest him, as he retrieved his passport to escape. Seeing no option, he races to the rooftops as the coppers follow. However, he loses his footing on the Queen Vic and falls off to his demise. Stacey Slater, Bradley's fiance, got to witness the whole thing. Then, she let slip that she was responsible for ending Archie. Uh-oh. But the cops still pinned it on Bradley, until 2014 when Stacey told them she was responsible. I did it. I killed Archie. Number 17. Breda McQueen, Hollyoaks. After arriving in the Chester Soap in 2018, Breda McQueen was a thorn in the side of its residents. After all, she amassed quite the body count in her relatively short time, including shockingly taking out Harry Thompson. I've met a lot of dads like you. They always meet a sticky end. No! But in 2020, it all came to a head at the farm. With the secrets of her slayings and attempts being exposed, Breda decided to take out herself, Tony Hutchinson, Silver and Mercedes McQueen by dramatically setting the property on fire. It's the last time you ever see him again. <laughs> But once a fight broke out, a severely injured Silver grabbed Breeders' iconic knitting needles and fatally wounded her with them. <laughs> Number 16. Maxine Peacock, Coronation Street In 2003, Coronation Street was plagued by the deeds of Richard Hillman as he swindled and slayed across the cobbles. One of his targets was the lovely Emily Bishop. After one failed attempt, Richard decided to strike again as she babysat the Peacock's kid, Joshua. However, right after hitting Emily with his crowbar, Maxine Peacock walked in and saw the grim scene. You should have stayed at the party, Maxine. As she went to get her son, Richard intercepted and fatally beat her with his trusty crowbar. Then, Richard framed Aidan Critchley for the dark deed and staged a robbery as he left. On the plus side, Emily pulled through. Number 15. Al Chapman, Emmerdale since arriving in the Dales in 2019, Al Chapman drew up a long list of enemies. 
from Marlon Dingle to Graham Foster to Billy Fletcher and many more. But on the tippy top of that list was Kane Dingle, and the two regularly butted heads. But once he discovered that Al was having an affair with his married sister Chaz, the grumpy Dingle took it up a notch. How long has it been going on? Long enough for me to know that I love her. Oh, yeah. Of course you do. Cain lured Al to his barn and fought with him, keeping a loaded firearm nearby for good measure. And, of course, the gun goes off, and we see Cain standing over Al's body. But once he's arrested for Al's demise, we discover that Cain's 11-year-old son Kyle was responsible for pulling the trigger. Yikes. <laughs> Number 14, Trina Johnson, EastEnders. From the time she walked onto the square in 2009, Trina Johnson wanted one thing, her estranged husband, Lucas Johnson. While he wasn't keen on reigniting that flame, he did fall into temptation, cheating on Denise Fox. But eventually, Lucas brought Trina to a shed on the allotment. She thought it was for them to plan their future together. Instead, he wanted her gone. I don't want you gone. For good. Trina responded with some frisky behaviour, which didn't work on Lucas as he pushed her away. No! <coughs> and perhaps much too hard, as Trina went straight into a rake that was hung up. Instead of helping her with her grim injuries, he went outside and waited for her to pass. Number 13, Tina McIntyre, Coronation Street. For six years, Tina McIntyre had captured the hearts of Coronation Street fans, but then 2014 happened. At the time, Tina was having an affair with Peter Barlow, who was married to Carla. Then, Tina discovered that Rob, Carla's brother, was selling illegal stock. So, he speaks to her on scaffolding, telling Tina not to tell Carla about the affair or the cops about his dealings. When that doesn't work, Rob pushes her, causing Tina to fall to the ground below. <coughs> but when Rob goes to leave, he hears Tina moving. She then threatens to tell the cops, so he takes a pipe and fatally beats her. Yeah, you'll die, gobby, too. <coughs> Sadly, after she's rushed to the hospital for treatment, Tina passes away from her injuries. Don't talk to the relatives. Number 12, Arthur Fatboy Chubb, EastEnders. Every soap needs a comic relief character to make things less sad. From 2010 to 2015, that was the job for Arthur Fatboy Chubb in EastEnders. Boom! Fatboy presents godlypodly.co.uk. And then he found his ending, thanks to mistaken identity. Ronnie Mitchell hired assassins to take out Vincent Hubbard. However, with rubbish instructions, they grab Arthur instead and lock him in a car boot. Then, the car was taken to the crusher. As it's being battered by a crane, Vincent, who discovered the terrible plan, manages to stop the worker from crushing the car completely. But when he opened the boot, the crane had already destroyed Fatboy. <laughs> Number 11, Andy Holt, Hollyoaks. Even though he wasn't in Hollyoaks for too long, Andy Holt left quite the impression. He immediately began a series of assaults on women, even bringing in Sam Owen as an accomplice. But by 2006, his time was up. One of his victims, Mel Burton, tracked Andy to a warehouse where he kidnapped Nicole Owen. Mel drugged him, tied him up, and interrogated him. After confessing his gruesome crimes, Andy saw a chance to escape and ran away with Mel in pursuit. However, going into a dark room, Andy couldn't see where he was running and ended up impaling himself on a spike. <laughs> Mel just watched as he slipped away. <laughs> Number 10, Sue and Danny Sullivan, Brookside. Brookside wasn't a soap to skirt away from controversial storylines, but this time they may have gone too far. In 1991, Sue Sullivan, who was married to Terry Sullivan, was having an affair with his best mate, Barry Grant. Well, Sue was on scaffolding to retrieve her baby, Danny. We then witnessed her talking to a mystery person before being pushed off it whilst clutching Danny, leading to their demise. Stop! For a while, there were several suspects in this terrible deed, 
Brookside really wanted to keep fans guessing, but around a year later, we discovered that Barry was the culprit when he admitted it to Terry. I mean, it was an accident. It was. I mean, it must have been. Number 9. Maddie Morrison, Hollyoaks Weddings and soaps rarely go well together, and for Hollyoaks, in 2012, the double union of Steve Hay and Doug Carter with Cindy Longford and Tony Hutchinson was a real disaster. As part of the Enjoy the Ride storyline, a minibus filled with six formers crashed into the wedding venue, causing lots of carnage. <laughs> the nightmare that was Maddie Morrison could have saved Neil Cooper, but chose not to. As a result, the bus exploded, dramatically ending Neil. <laughs> then, karma struck immediately. One of the bus's doors was launched into the air during the explosion and was set ablaze. It then came back to Earth, choosing exactly where Maddie was standing. Brutal. <laughs> Number 8. James Barton, Emmerdale In 2016, Emmerdale decided to do its own version of Stephen King's Misery, and it was unsettling. After breaking his leg, James Barton was looked after by his wife Emma, and by looked after, we mean being doped up and living in terror. Emma, you need help. I can get you that. Hmm. So they can take me away. After all, her mind had unraveled further when she learned of his affair with Moira. Eventually, he manages to escape and limps to a bridge, but Emma catches up. <laughs> She then pushes James off, landing on a passing car driven by Ashley Thomas, causing a 19-vehicle pileup. In the hospital, Emma contemplates tampering with his oxygen, but doesn't. Regardless, James soon succumbed to his injuries and passed away. No. No. Number 7. Luke Britton, Coronation Street Pat Phelan is one of the great soap villains of all time, but in 2018, his secret reign of terror was set to be exposed by Luke Britton. Well, Pat wasn't having that and whacked him on the head with a rock. Just one more thing, Luke. <laughs> However, Luke fought back and managed to get to a car and drive off with Pat in hot pursuit. The baddie managed to knock Luke's car into debris. He then got out and shot at the mechanic through the windscreen, injuring him. <laughs> Instead of just driving off, Pat made sure there were no loose ends. He fired at the car's petrol tank, causing it to explode and setting it aflame with Luke still inside. Number 6. Val Pollard, Emmerdale In 2015, life was rough for Val Pollard in Emmerdale. Having been diagnosed as HIV positive, she was then looking at going to prison for fraud and considering faking her demise for life insurance money. After her sister Diane Sugden found out about the money scam, the two were forced to talk it out inside a hall of mirrors at the summer fair. I am going to fall off a ship, leg it to Mexico, and cram more fun into the next few years than you've managed in your entire miserable life. I'd like to see you try. But then, a helicopter crash caused the place to implode. While the sisters reconcile and Diane is saved by the emergency services, Val realises a large piece of glass is hanging above her. Right, I really need to get out now, hurry it up! Ever defiant, she takes out a cigarette and taunts the danger. However, the glass eventually falls onto her, ending the great Geordie. I'm Val. Number 5. Andy Carver, Coronation Street in January 2017, it looked like Andy Carver was another victim in Pat Phelan's growing body count when he was knocked out with a laptop. I've just thought of a new ending. <sighs> However, as a fun Coronation Street twist, Andy was fine, sort of. Instead, he was held hostage by Pat for many months with lots of psychological and physical trauma. But it all came to a head in October 2017. Andy was forced to shoot Pat's former business partner, Vinnie Ashford, with the promise that he'll go free afterwards. Do it! Kill him! <laughs> but like the baddie he is, Pat takes the firearm and uses it on Andy. Then he tries to make it seem like it was a favour, as Andy wouldn't have been able to cope with ending Vinnie. What a nice guy. <laughs> Number 4. Sarah Barnes, Hollyoaks After seeing this, we learned a valuable lesson. Intense jealousy and skydiving are a very bad mix. 
In 2009, Sarah Barnes, her partner Lydia Hart and Zoe Carpenter embarked on some skydiving action on Hollyoaks later. However, Lydia had something else in mind. She sabotaged one of the parachute packs, expecting Zoe to use it. After all, Lydia was very jealous of Zoe and Sarah's friendship since they had a one-night stand in the past. But when Zoe used her parachute with no issue as the three sailed through the sky, Lydia knew she messed up badly as Sarah's pack was a mess. With nothing anyone could do, we watched as Sarah plummeted to the earth, scarring us for life. <laughs> Number 3. Harriet Finch, Emmerdale In late 2022, Emmerdale was on a mission to knock off characters left, right and centre. This time, in October, a storm descended on the Yorkshire village. With pregnant Amelia Spencer missing and injured, Harriet Finch went off on a quad bike to find her in the woods. However, after crashing, she was then pinned by the vehicle. While love rival Kim Tate tried to help the former vicar, a lightning strike exploded the bike, ending Harriet instantly. Back in the village, the storm continued to wreak havoc. A caravan was blown into Liv Flaherty, pinning her against the wall and fatally injuring her. In a tearful segment, Liv said goodbye to her husband Vinny and her brother Aaron before passing away. I never knew any anyone could make me so happy. Number 2. Ronnie and Roxy Mitchell, EastEnders On New Year's Day in 2017, life in EastEnders seemed to be getting better for Ronnie and Roxy Mitchell. After all, the former had just remarried Jack Branning, while the latter was off to join the newlyweds in Essex as she dealt with her addiction. During the reception, the sisters get hammered and end up at the venue's swimming pool as they talk about their bright future. Then, Roxy jumped into the pool. Oh! When she didn't surface, Ronnie jumped in to save her. However, Ronnie wasn't able to. As we found out later, Roxy's heart stopped when she hit the pool, while Ronnie was weighed down by her wedding gown. It was a harrowing end for the Mitchell sisters. She told me she was coming back. That's, that's Jack. Please. We only just got married. Number 1. Kylie Platt, Coronation Street in the days leading up to the fateful episode in July 2016, fans knew what was going to happen as ITV advertised Kylie Platt's demise. Hang on it, I think there might be something kicking off at the kebab shop. However, that didn't make it any less tragic for the fan favourite character. Seeing Gemma Winter being knocked out by the floor from a push by Clayton Hibbs, Kylie rushed to help her friend, but in the ensuing brawl, she stabbed by him. Oh, let go of me, while Clayton runs away, Kylie forces herself down the street and spots her husband, David. Then, in a moving scene, we watch their happy plans of moving abroad evaporate as Kylie passes away in his arms. Kylie, they're here. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.